In this video, I'm going to talk about creating self-signing certificates for your Excel macros. So this is a macro that I completed basically for one of my videos, but I'm quite happy with this. Um, this is a, a scan in barcode sheet and it's uh, doing what I want it to do. It's uh, putting the job number and this employee down in the time in the time out. And so then it's also creating a sheet here. Now, so let's pretend that this is, I'm doing this for a client. Now, I've, he's seen it and I've seen it and we're all happy with it. So now I'm ready to send it to him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the Visual Basic window. So I go to the Developer tab, click on Visual Basic. And then when the Visual Basic window comes up, I go to Tools on the menu bar. I go to digital, digital signature and right now um, the VBA project currently signed in, a, there's no certificate. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, now my certificate says BHC which is Barb Henderson Consulting and uh, it's val valid for, for like six years here. And so you say OK and now uh, you say OK. And so the next time you come up here, you can um, look at the digital signature and it's basically, it's telling you that I wrote this piece of code. And the other thing is that, that when I send it off to the client, um, you can, it's telling you that I've written this and that no changes have been made. So if the client decides that he's going to change a few pieces of code, the there, there'll be a warning come up and the signature will not, will be taken off because any changes to the code means that, um, that I, somebody else has been working on it. And if I, he comes back in a year or so and says, you know, this isn't working anymore, and I just go to the tools and I go uh, digital signature, and I see that the BHC is no longer here, then I can ask him, what did you do to the code so that it's not signed anymore? So let me show you how I do this, how I create a digital signature. So to create um, a self-signature, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the C drive of my computer. I'm going to go to Program Files. And then I'm going to click on Microsoft Office. And now the signature or the file that you're looking for is called self surf self cert exe and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy that i'll put it in the description of the video and i'm going to put it in the in the search box here and and there it is so well, now what you do is you double click this one that's on the Microsoft Office route. So we go double click it here. And then it's going to come up and it's going to ask you what you want to uh, certificate's name. So this is where I put in the BHC. But if you want to put in your full name, you could put it there and then you say OK. And so after you've done this, so let's let's put in test here. And I'll say, OK. OK, so now it says successfully created a new certificate for test. And you say, OK. And now what we do, I, I might have to close down my Excel macro again. We'll see. And I'm going to go choose. And then see, we have the option here of test. So now you've created a second one, and instead of BHC, it says tests. So I'm going to go cancel because I'm going to leave it as a BHC certi cer certificate on this, this file. So that's how you create a, a self-signature on your, your Excel macros. Please subscribe.